what we would like a society to be in the future. What is the India that we are looking at? We turn out graduates in large numbers, but not all of them are employable at the level that we would like them to be. Teachers can create students who can think for themselves, who are independent and have the potential to become citizens of the type that we would like to encourage. Thinking citizens, conscious citizens, aware citizens, who are aware of the point of the place that they have in a democracy. And how do we look at, at extending this freedom to look scientifically at problems to every citizen in the country? In a country where more than 90% of people believe in some form of organized religion, it has traditionally been the job of science to stay away from questions that have to do with religion. But it's important for science to understand what is the role of science and what is the role of private belief. And scientists, more than anyone else, should also be cognizant of this boundary and able to present this in a way that establishes what science is all about and how it does not interfere with private belief. That's where it's important to think about how we could change the structure of science. Also important to understand the relationship of the sciences to the social sciences. That's another barrier that one must break. The sciences cannot exist on their own. It's not sufficient to think only about science. One must think about the social impacts of science and the social consequences of that science for the public at large. Understanding the role of science is crucial to becoming a better citizen. By better citizen, I don't mean someone who is just a mechanically ob obeying the laws of the country as they might be, but someone who thinks about why they are and how they help to protect the rights of everyone in this country. Watch the full video on India Inclusive YouTube channel.